according to all known laws of aviation, there is no way it should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Very break fast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello. Very. Adam, can you believe this is happening? I'll pick you up, looking sharp. Use these stairs, your father paid good money for those. Sorry I'm excited, here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card, all base. Very proud. My, got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuss. Oh, that's me. Wave to us, we'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. Hey, hey. And then, hey, Barry, is that fuzz gill? A little special day graduation. Never thought I'd make it three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, uh, Barry, already growing a mustache. Looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah, you going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows sting someone you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hofed. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are bee men. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Bob. As well. Welcome to City Graduating Class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Honix Industries. Will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honix, a division of Honisco and a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Whoa. Whoa. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into the soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as honey. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is. Yes, we're all cousins, right? You're right. At Honex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. What does that do? Catches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Can anyone work on the Krellman? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones. But bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life, I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death. We'll sure try. Whoa, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever. That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second, check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Whoa, I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hey, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day is not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that, right? Look, that's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies, aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two. Couple of hive hair. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah. Once a beer pinned me against a mushroom. He had a paw on my throat and with the other he was slapping me. My... I never thought I'd knock him out. What were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, it's D. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry, a puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going 900 at Jigate. What do you think, Buzz? 
Fuzzy Boy. Are you be enough? I might be, it, it all depends on what 900 means. Hey, Honex, Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in. Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a wraith. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what making balls animals. That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Mary, you're so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stir. You're gonna be a stir. No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antenna, shack up with a grass shopper, get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all of the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt B, pouring, stir a front desk hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What do you get? Picking crud out. Stellar. Whoa. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day, we are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first. No, you go. Oh my, uh, what's available? Restroom attendance open, not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krowman? Sure you're on. I'm sorry, the Krowman just closed out. Wax Monkey's always open. The Krowman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See, he's dead. Another dead one. Deady, deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunt B, porter, stirrer, humming, inspector, number seven, link coordinator, stripe supervisor, might wrangler. Barry, what do you think I should? Barry. Barry? All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out of where? Out there? No, I have two before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello. Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Corrine Delay on 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight decks restricted. It's Ock Low. We're gonna take him up. Really feeling lucky. Are you? Sign here. Here, just initial that. Thank you. You got a rain adversary today, and as you all know, bees cannot fly it in rain. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, beers, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for you rookies, be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, 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 black and yellow. Hello, you ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Wind, check. Antenna, check. Nectar pack, check. Wings, check. Stinger, check. Stared out of my shorts, check. Ugh, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Whoa, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue, I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Whoa, flowers. This is blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees. Roger, bringing it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over here, maybe a dash over there. A pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again. You're reporting a moving flower. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemical A. Careful. Guys, it's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain, get off there. Problem? Guys, this could be bad. Very close. 
kind of hard. Mama's little boy. Your way out of position, Rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yo, sir. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Uh, the, he's back here. He's gonna sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Whoa. The tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Matey, matey, be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see, folds out. Oh, no more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time. This time. This time. This time. This drapes that is diabolical it's fantastic it's got all my special skills even my top 10 favorite movies what's number one star wars now nah, don't go for that kind of stuff no wonder we shouldn't talk to them they're out of their minds when i leave a job interview they're flabbergasted can't believe what i say there's the sun maybe that's a way out i don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it i predicted global warming i could feel it getting hotter at first i thought it was just me wait stop b stand back these are winter boots wait don't kill him you know i'm allergic to them this thing could kill me why does his life have less value than yours why does his life have any less value than mine is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My uh, whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right by Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week yogurt night. Sure can, you know, whatever. You could put carb chips on there. Bye. Supposed to be less calories. Bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here it goes. Nah, what would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a beat law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to you. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No, yes. No, do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Here she comes, speak, you fool. Hey, I'm sorry you're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking? I'm so sorry. No, it's up. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am. And I'm not supposed to be doing this, but they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee, and the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. Now, wait, how do you learn to do that? What? The talking thing? Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, these are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with anyway. Can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee. I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? Have some? No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you all right? No. He's making the tea in the cabs. They're flying up medicine. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. And he says, watermelon. I thought you said gutmelon. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah. Different. So what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. You do. Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really. My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look my hive right there, see it. You're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way. I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure, here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah, all right. Well then, I guess I'll see you around or not. Oh, Barry, and thank you so much again 
for before. Oh, that, that was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway, this can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Oh, they've pulled a shoot. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you like Anth? Some of them, but some of them don't. How do you get back? Poodle, you did it and I'm glad you saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience. Now you can pick out your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did? Will she be ish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spitter, I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing with the eight legs and all I can't get by that face. So who is she? She's human. No, no, that's a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh boy, she's so nice and she's a florist. Oh no, you're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and mateys. One eighth a stick of dynamite. She saved my life and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stingy and strippy and that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. You know what a cinnamon is? No, it's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them, we're us. There's us and there's them. Yes, but who can deny the hurt that is yearning? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You've got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why are you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming. Got everything. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've gotta go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl. Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's B-ish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in the Tournament of Roses, that's every florist's dream, up on a float surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament the roses compete in athletic events. No, alright, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, I see, I see. Alright, your turn. Tivo, you can just freeze live. That's insane. You don't have that. We have Hivo. But it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion, anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you uh, yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular. Yeah, it was how did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Could be Golden Blossom Raylight Approvate Select. Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people, we eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it, and it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honey berry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have, and it's on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector, you almost done. Almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. So you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start talking. Where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? 
I don't understand. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late, it's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my Aegiana. Ignatio. Where's the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms? It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces, they never knew what at them, and now they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead. Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves where you headed. To honey farms, I'm onto something huge here. I'm gonna Alaska. Moose blood crazy stuff blows your head off. I'm going to tack him up. And you. He really is dead. Oh, uh, what is that? No. Oh, we're triple blade. Triple blade. Jump on. It's your only chance. B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes. Stick your head out the window. From Per News in Washington, I'm Carl Cassell. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like t tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood? Just a row of honey jars as far as the eye could see. Whoa, I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, honey's ears. These hang tight, we're all jammed in. It's a close community, not us, man. We on our own, every musk widow on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a musk widow, you in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. See a Mosquito smack smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth. Dragon flea. Mosquito girl don't want no Mosquito. You got to be kidding me. Moose of Blood's about to leave the building so long be. Hey guys. Moose of Blood. Did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much poor profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads, pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh sweet, that's the one you want, the Thomas 3000 smoker. 90 puffs a minute, semi-automatic, twice the nicotine, all the tar. A couple of breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey and we make the money. They make the honey, and we make the money. My, what's going on, are you up? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Yes, but who can deny the hurt that is yearning? There's no yearning, stop yearning, listen to me. You've got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. There he is, he's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days, why are you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You coming. Got everything. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've gotta go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl. Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's B-ish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena. To be in the Tournament of Roses, that's every florist's dream, up on a float surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering. A tournament the roses compete in athletic events. No, alright, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, I see, I see. Alright, your turn. Tivo, you can just freeze live. That's insane. You don't have that. We have Hivo. But it's a disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out. Work through it like any emotion, anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness, are you uh, Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular. Yeah, it was how did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I lost a cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Could be Golden Blossom Raylight Approvate Select. Is he that actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people, we eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it, and it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honey berry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. 
this is all we have and it's on sale i'm getting to the bottom of this i'm getting to the bottom of all of this hey hector you almost done almost he is here i sense it well i guess i'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out with no one around you're busted box boy so you can talk i can talk and now you'll start talking where are you getting the sweet stuff Who's your supplier? I don't understand. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late, it's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my Aegiana, Ignatio. Where's the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms, it comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces, they never knew what at them. And now, they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead. Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves where you headed. To honey farms, I'm onto something huge here. I'm gonna Alaska. Moose blood crazy stuff blows your head off. I'm going to tack him up. And you. He really is dead. Oh, uh, what is that? No. Oh, we're triple blade. Triple blade. Jump on. It's your only chance. B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes, stick your head out the window. From Per News in Washington, I'm Carl Cassell. But don't kill no more bugs. B. Moose blood guy. You hear something? Like what? Like t tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood? Just a row of honey jars as far as the eye could see. Whoa, I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, honey's ears. These hang tight, we're all jammed in. It's a close community, not us, man. We on our own, every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito, you in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. See a mosquito smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth, dragon flea. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You got to be kidding me. Moose of blood's about to leave the building so long be. Hey guys, moose of blood. Did you bring your crazy straw? We throw it in jars, slap a label on it, and it's pretty much per profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads, pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh sweet, that's the one you want, the Thomas 3000 smoker. 90 puffs a minute, semi-automatic, twice the nicotine, all the tar. A couple of breads of this knocks them right out. They make the honey and we make the money. They make the honey and we make the money. My, what's going on? Are you up? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen. That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? No, there's hundreds of them. Be honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything beers have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend and they make out, make out. Barry, we do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life. I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring, you couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year, they put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye. That would hurt. No, up the nose, that's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans, one place where it matters. Hive at five, the hive's only full hour action news source. No more be birds. With Bob Bumble at the anchor desk, whether with Storm Stinger, sports with Buzz Larvey, and Janet Chung. Good evening, I'm Bob Bumble. And I'm Janet Along. A tri caddy bee, Barry Benson, intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night, I'd be Larry King. We'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight, we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think, I'm a kid from the hive, I can't do this? Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about B. Olumbus, B. Gan, he, B. Jesus, where I'm from, we'd never sue humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common name next week. He looks like he has a show in suspenders and colored dots. Next week, 
glasses quotes on the bottom from the guest even though you just heard him. Beer week next week, they're scary. Harriet here live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backing's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that that same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello, hello bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size 10 and a half. Vibram soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen. You better go cause we're really buzzy working. But it's our yogurt night, bye bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing, you two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting? How many sugars? Just one, I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? These have good qualities and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon booklets now. Those are great if you're three, and artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Ben Stinger's pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daft photo that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for it a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan where the world anxiously waits because for the first time in history we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers. Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know, I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the B team. You boys work on this. All rise, the honorable Judge Bumblin presiding. All right, case number 4,475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson v. The Honey Industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively. A privilege, Mr. Benson. You're representing all the bees of the world. I'm kidding. Yes, your honor, we're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman born on a farm. She believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what would it mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking bee, how do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it, we make it, and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you not only take everything we have, but everything we are. I wish you'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus Vander Hayden of Honey Farms, big company you have? I suppose so. I see you also on Honey Burton and Hon Run. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper, I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no, because you don't free bees. You keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a beer would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. You got a beer, fozy beer, build a beer. You mean like this? Beers kill bees. How'd you like his head crashing through your living room, biting into your cutch, spitting out your throat pillows? Oh, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called the police, but you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of the culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon Sumner? That's not his real name. You idiots. Mr. Lida, first belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot honor in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do, is that a crime? Not yet it isn't, but is this what it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny helpless beasts so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. 
why doesn't someone just step on this creek and we can all go home order in this court you're all thinking it order order i say say it mr lida please sit down i think it was awfully nice of that beer to pitch in like that i think the jury's on our side are we doing everything right legly i'm a florist right well here's to a great team to a great team well hello kin hello i didn't think you were coming no i was just late i tried to call but the battery I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right. There. Ken Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? These have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what Van said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flame? Not as much. Water bug not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Whoa, 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 little royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? Surf's up, dude. Pool order. That bowl is gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time. What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine, talking bees. No yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Good be kin. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between kin and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh, well, are you out for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Layden, you've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's going to be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers. Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B, I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bedbug? I've seen a bee documentary or two. From what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but... So those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry? Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins. I'm gonna pinkish in this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Uh, um, hit. Oh, lordy, I'm hit. Order, order. The venom, the venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled by a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving bud tox? I will have order in this court. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal teams stung late on T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy. Hey. Is there much pain? Yeah. I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters? is you're alive you could have died i'd be better off dead look at me they got it from the cave theory downstairs in a tuna sandwich look there's a little celery still on it what was it like to sting someone i can't explain it it was all all adrenaline and then and then ecstasy you think it was all a trap of course i'm sorry it flew us right into this what were we thinking look at us we're just a couple of bugs in this world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in mobiles. 
that doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my, could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke, right? Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke, but some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is. It's not over. Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub, Mr. Flamin. Yes. Yes, your honor. Where's the rest of your team? Well, your honor... It's interesting, these are trained to fly half as hardly, and as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard a funny story about, Your Honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flamen, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't, we have a terrific case. Where's your proof? Where's the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, your honor. You want a smoking gun. Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What this, this harmless little contraption, this couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened to bees who have never been asked, smoking or not. Is this what nature intended for us, to be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and man-made wooden slat work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man. What are we gonna do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Free these bees. Free the 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 bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry. Imok, you know what this means. All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, Benson. You will regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right. One at a time. Barry, who wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren and I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the bee way a long time. 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. Then we want back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the beer as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. He'll have nauseous for a few hours and he'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate bee negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health products and light D to human tea time snack garnishments can't brave thee. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it. Mr. Buzzwell, we just passed three cups and there's gollins more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball? We're shutting honey production. Mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh yeah. What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating? their home. They don't know what to do, laying out, sleeping in. I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think so what if humans liked our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh no, my. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees. Specifically me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's our whole sat test right there. Take away produce. That affects the entire animal kingdom. And then... Of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right, Liston, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. 
I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rose's parade in Pasadena. They've moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. I know, me neither. Tournament of Roses? Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses, 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 Vanessa, Roses, Barry. Roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know, that's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry. Unk, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I've made it worse. It's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling, but I have another idea and it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right, they have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees. Park. Pollen. Flowers. Repollination. Across the nation. Tournament of roses. Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Venus bloomed. Official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just picked the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? What are you? I'm the pea. The pea. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that, this whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop, security. You and your insect pack your float. Yes. Has it been in your possession the entire time? Would you remove your shows? Remove your stinger? It's part of me. I know, just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is gonna work. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What you say? Hell, nothing. B, don't freak out my entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute, I am an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Barry, good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Venus of Bloom in 24 please report to the cockpit and please hurry? What happened here? There was a dust buster, a toupee, a life raft exploded. One's bald, one's in a boat, they're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? No, no one's flying the plane. This is Ch Control Tower Flight 356. What's your status? This is Venus of Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious. And so is the copilot. Not good. Does anyone on board a flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Mary Benson. From the Honey Trial. Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Mary? We're headed into some lightning. This is Bobble. We have some late breaking news from Chick Airport where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory. That's Barry, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers. We have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no account compadres. They've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass make no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realize this to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. Left, right, down, hover. Hover? Forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. 
Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we were on Autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. Our only chance is if I do what I do, you copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 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 snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on, it's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello. Benson got any flowers for a happy occasion in there. The pollen jocks, they to get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. Hello. All right, let's drop this tin can on the blacktop where I can't see anything can you no nothing it's all cloudy come on you got to think be berry thinking be thinking be thinking be thinking be thinking be wait a minute i think i'm feeling something what i don't know it's strong pulling me like a 27 million year old instinct bring the nose down thinking be thinking be thinking be what in the world the tarmac get some lights on that thinking be thinking be thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Cut the engines. We're going in on B power. Ready, boys. Good, good. Easy. Now that's it. Land on that flower. Ready, full, reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower, the other one. Which one? That flower? I'm aiming at the flower. That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt. I mean the giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward, nose down, tail up, rotate around it. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo kachu or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid, smell it, full reverse, just drop it, be a part of it, aim for the center, now drop it in, drop it in, woman, come on, already, Barry, we did it, you taught me how to fly, yes, no high five, right, Barry, it worked, did you see the giant flower, what giant flower, where of course, I saw the flower, that was genius, thank you, but we're not done yet, listen, everyone, this runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me except keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here, you've earned this. Yeah, I'm a pollen jock and it's a perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh yeah, that's our berry. Mom, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call. Now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help? Who's next? Would you like some honey with that? It is bee approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese, it's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My Mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lower two. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny, just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry, can I help? Who's next? All right, scramble jocks, it's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You have got to start thinking bee, my friend. Thinking bee, me. Hold it. Let's just stop for a second, hold it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right, take 10, everybody. Wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. And uh, that's really about it. See ya.